you are dealing with biting. Oh, what fun. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to deal with everything that goes along with toddler biting and how to deal with some of the most common causes for it. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jenny, certified teacher, doctoral student, and mom to two girls, Alice and Mina. Alice is my toddler, and of course, most toddlers go through a bit of a biting phase. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why this happens and how to deal with it. I'm actually gonna give you specific examples based on the root cause for why it happens. Okay, so let's start first of all with different reasons why this might actually happen. You never want to think that your child is going to bite other kids, but it does happen quite frequently, believe it or not. Are they biting because they are frustrated? Are they biting because they are overstimulated? Are they biting because they're excited? Are they looking for attention? Are they exploring cause and effect? Do they need something to bite on? Are they feeling physically crowded? What need is it that they are trying to meet by doing this biting behavior? In order to address biting, I really feel like it's important to know why the biting is happening. So for example, if you get a phone call from your child's daycare and they tell you that, their child is, that your child is biting another one, my first question would be, what was it that caused my child to bite the other child so that I can better address it? Dealing with biting kind of comes down to three main pieces, distraction, substitution and redirection. But before we go into those, let's just break it down by each hypothetical experience of why this child is biting and talk about some possible solutions. If your child is exploring cause and effect, what I would do is substitute for a toy that also demonstrates cause and effect. Busy boxes are a great example of something to use for this. Same with open-ended toys like a sandbox or water play. Those are great open-ended suggestions to put in there in the place of biting for your child to evaluate cause and effect. Water in particular with a couple of cups will allow them to do all sorts of different things with cause and effect. I actually really recommend getting this set of munchkin boats because it has holes in the bottom of each one and they all have a different kind of like flow of water from, down, from out of the bottom of them. Great suggestion for cause and effect if your child is biting because they're trying to explore cause and effect. If your child is biting because they are trying to play with another child and not effectively doing so, Monitor their play with that child and help guide interactions. Making a specific point to praise positive interactions. If they are a child that bites when they're physically feeling crowded, something that's going to be very important is managing their space and ensuring they actually have a safe area for themselves and their thing. Sometimes we don't think about their things as an extension of themselves, but toddlers very much think that way. If they are biting because of frustration, it's usually because they are having difficulty expressing a strong emotion. What I like to do in this particular situation is to name the emotion, let them know it's not acceptable, and then give them an alternative solution. You're mad because Alex took your toy. Biting is not okay when someone takes your toy. You can tell Alex that it's your turn for the toy. If your child winds up biting out of imitation, if they see another child bite someone in a classroom, for example, and now they're starting to bite kids, the most important thing for this one is to not feed in the attention that they are trying to seek. Another thing that's just super, super important about dealing with biting is to stay calm in all of your interactions. I know there is a sense of urgency because the, your child or someone else's child is being bitten and that is not acceptable but you have to remain calm. So let's say that you are in a situation where it happens and your child bites another one. How you can handle this is first, remove the biter and the victim immediately from one another. And you deal with the victim first. Address their needs, anything that they need as far as cleanup of the wound, bandages, what have you, that comes first. Next, you're gonna get down onto the toddler's level that you are talking to, and you're going to speak firmly, but calmly. I don't like it when you bite people. Now she's very sad. You hurt her. If you want to bite something, you can bite this plastic ring. Or if they're not looking to bite something. If you want a toy, you can ask her for it. Always end, of course, too, with a sense of empathy from the situation. And make a big deal over praising positive behavior between your child and the victim going forward. Even really, really small stuff. For example, oh, Alice, you picked up the block that Mina was using. Thank you so much for picking up that block. Even if they're not connected at all, you're still saying something that's positive. That's an interaction between the two of them. Biting is something that's really tough to deal with and it's going to take time, but it's something also I want you to know is pretty developmentally normal for a lot of kids. Not every kid, but a lot of kids. 
Identifying the root cause is going to be key in how you're going to be able to deal with it with your child. If you've already been doing things differently from here, try some of these new strategies going forward and see if they'll help you out to address the biting. When it comes right down to it though, as I mentioned, the three main key points are distraction, substitution, and redirection. Distraction, distract your child with something different. It will discourage them from biting because they'll be more interested in what the other thing is. Substitution, give them something that is acceptable to bite. A teether, a washcloth, a plastic toy ring, something that is acceptable to bite. And redirection, show your child something that's more interesting over here instead of having them deal with possibly biting Jacob over here. If you can remember those three pieces and also keep calm while you're doing it, which is the hardest part, <laughs> then you are well on your way to managing this very tough behavior. I wish you the best of luck in dealing with biting. It is very stressful as a parent, especially one when you care so much about your child's development and you feel like you're doing everything right and then you find out that your child is a biter. It's tough. I hope this is helpful for you in coming up with a couple of ideas on ways to deal with your biter. There is not a one size fits all solution to biting because there's not one singular reason why every kid bites. And I think that's really important to take away from this. I really appreciate you watching this video and if you enjoy my discipline series, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm gonna do a couple of more discipline series videos and I hope that they're very helpful for you. Have a great day and see you next time. Take care.